Alright, just going to make a video showing you that Prophet Isaiah also refutes the Luciferian Pelagian heresy of basically denying that humans have a sinful body or a sinful nature, or that basically are born with a body of sin, basically a corrupt body of flesh. Because Pelagianism is Luciferianism. The scriptures clearly teach all over both Old and New Testament, uh, particularly, for example, in Romans chapter 8 and in the book of Romans in general. Uh, uh, but all throughout, I mean, all throughout the book of Job, all throughout the, all throughout the Psalms, all through the book of Isaiah, clearly teach that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. And I've shown that in other videos in the past, refuting this Pelagian uh, Luciferian false doctrine of this sinless perfection. And why do I say it's Luciferian? Well, because in Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, Satan's lie was, ye shall be as gods. If you can be sinlessly perfect, you're essentially becoming like God. That's, that's what it comes down to. That's why I say it's a Luciferian false doctrine. But I'm going to show that the prophet Isaiah refutes the Luciferian Pelagian heresy of denying that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. So let's get right into the scriptures. First of all, the prophet Isaiah knew that he was wicked and sinful as he was in the presence of God. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 5 to 7. See what he says. And now Isaiah says, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the tongues from off the, off the altar. And he laid it on my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Notice how when he was in the presence of God, he wasn't saying, look how, look how good I am. I'm pretty good, aren't I? No, he's saying, woe is me. I'm a man of unclean lips. You see, he knew he was wicked and sinful in the presence of God. He knew that only God is righteous and holy. And for the proof of this, the prophet Isaiah says that all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Okay, Isaiah, cha Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. Another good jab at the Luciferian Pelagian false doctrine. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. But we are all as, un as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we do all fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. You know, you may think you're righteous and holy, but in God's eyes, in the, in the eyes of a sinless, perfect God, uh, your righteousness are as filthy rags. Your, your, your boasting is not doesn't mean anything. Next point is that when prophesying about Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross, the prophet Isaiah is clear that all of us have iniquity. A rehashing of Romans chapter 3, or sorry, Paul re rehashes this in Romans chapter 3, verse 10 to 23. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. All we, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. That, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That simple. All of us have iniquity. None of us are sinlessly perfect. Uh, and finally, the prophet Isaiah talks about being a transgressor, transgressor sorry, from the womb. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 8. The jab at the Luciferian false doctrine. Yea, thou heardest not. Yea, thou knowest not. Yea, from that time that thine ear was not open. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and wast called a transgressor from the womb. That simple. The prophet Isaiah, see, if, if the prophet Isaiah was, sinless, was a sinless perfectionist, Luciferian Pelagian, he wouldn't have said all this stuff. This, the prophet Isaiah demolishes the Luciferian false doctrine of Pelagianism. Don't be deceived by it. You cannot, your body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. You just, if you don't like that, it shows you're just self-righteous, plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.